So today I'm going to show you the comparison of the um, X61 tablet and the X220 tablet. The left side is the X61 tablet. It's about four years old, and I've been using it pretty well without um, without major problems. And this one on the right side is the X220 tablet. It's um, it's causing a lot of um, problems because of the digitizer accuracy and you can see the screen brightness on um, the right side is definitely brighter and more um, more like a cooler color and um, the X61T is a more more of a warm color and uh, to for the purpose of this test I disabled the touch input so it doesn't do anything when I touch the screen but it is a, a multi-touch screen and I'm gonna go over the ca screen calibration just to um, show you that I did calibrate the screen and, and then show you the problems um, going to hardware and sound calibrate the screen first I'm going to reset it just to make sure the reset the pen input and then I'll do a calibration to the pen input calibrate and this is my normal writing angle so I, I'm not like I'm not like uh, leaning my pen like crazy in a crazy degree. I'm. Uh, this is my normal grip, so I hope it works. And now let's see the how accurate the pen is. So here, when I um, in the center part, the dot is uh, kind of on the bottom, but below of my pen. But it's it's. I think this is okay. This is acceptable. I can. If I look from here, it, it's almost like correct, right? Um, let's see. And here it's okay. So these parts are okay, right? But when we go to the left edge, look at that. It, it um, completely slides towards the edge of the screen. Uh, let me let me lower the brightness maybe. Okay, I lowered the brightness to ten, so maybe it's better, to, easier to see, to record. Um, so the pen right now is a little bit below my um, actual position, and but uh, that's not the big problem. The big problem is um, when when I go to the edge, it just accelerates towards the edge, and when my pen's not even there yet. And the upper part seems like it's okay. Upper part doesn't really have any problems here. Um, let's see the right side. Okay, right side, right here, it's it's actually on the little bit right side of my pen. And as I go further, it accelerates towards the um, the edge. So maybe you can see it like this here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not I'm not touching the edge yet, but my point um, is already on the edge. The dot is already on the edge. Let's see on the bottom side here. Uh, so you can see it's uh, running a little bit towards the edge too here. From here, starting from here, it's um, see, it's already touching the edge, and when I keep going, nothing happens. It just stays there. Another weird problem is uh, when I come close to the edge here, oops, and then do like a small circular motion. The pen doesn't actually, uh, the pointer doesn't, the point doesn't actually follow where I'm at. So I'm trying to do a small circular motion and see the the dot is like going sometimes going into weird positions and that's just weird. Uh, yeah like uh, right now Yeah, so my, my thought is maybe something is inside here which is 
preventing the uh, electromagnetic field coming um, at a correct rate uh, compared to here in the center part. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not an expert on these, so I don't know what's causing it. So let's go to X61 uh, tablet. I'll show you that everything here works perfectly fine. So this is X61 tablet, and see how accurate my um, my dot is right now. And I'm going to the edge, and see it's like exactly where I want it to be on the left edge. Um, now on the upper edge. and the right side see it's exactly where I want it to be right so I can I have no problems using whatever menu I want to press and I can all I can press them at once like when I have a OneNote open okay so I usually use OneNote on this uh, full screen mode so that I have more space. On the right side, I have this scroll bar. I can just grab it anytime I want. And it's very easy to scroll. Upper part, I have all these pens laid out um, so I can write whatever I want, even like on the edges here, um, up here, or on the right side. But I'm going to erase that. I don't want it here. <laughs> uh, I can easily grab like these here on any edge of the screen because it just works very well um, selecting menu buttons or uh, view I can get rid of the ruler lines and these are really easy and simple to do with my X61 tablet now going back to the X220 tablet I'm, I'm even already having trouble pressing this OneNote icon because I can't, I can't just, uh, I opened it once at once, this, um, I guess I was lucky, because this uh, space is kind of big here, so I wanted to click exactly almost at the center, but this, uh, the dot is, like, almost at the top of this icon, but anyway, I got it to open, and now I'm going to maximize this screen, and, uh, go to full screen mode, and yeah this this when, when there's a problem like uh, let's say I want to um, I want to view the view the rulers so I have to press this what is it uh, view and then go to rulers so I'm gonna go quickly press it view ruler lines okay yeah I guess it, it's okay right now um, so for right now uh, yeah, this this is the upper side of the upper edge of the screen. So there wasn't any problems on on this side. So um, here I can it just works fine as I want it to. So I can write stuff fine and without a problem. Um, scrolling right now it's uh, see where my where the dot is. So. Let's see if you can see it. So when I press it, like, when I scroll it like this, from where I'm looking at, and this is the, um, not where you're looking at, but where I'm looking at, this is how I calibrated the screen. And the dot should be exactly below this uh, pen. But it's actually on the um, extreme edge of the screen right now. So, anyways, it, it, I was able to grab it and it was okay this time, but a lot of times when I'm writing and then I quickly need to go uh, drag this, it's, sometimes it's very hard and especially when the screen is rotated into um, portrait mode or, um, or I'm using this side of the edge or maybe um, some other side of the edge which has problems, it's a really a problem because I, I can't really scroll anything and and then you, you could say why don't you use the touch input right to write and then do this scroll with with your fingers and that doesn't work too well because um, if I enable the touch gestures whenever I write something and then lift my pen up 
sometimes my palm gets uh, recognized as a touch input and then the um, this zoom level just changes automatically like it sometimes it just zooms in and zooms out or moves around the whole paper with my palm so the palm detection isn't really good um, I think it doesn't even have one so that is another problem with using this uh, OneNote um, with a multi-touch panel so I don't know I'm, I I might just uh, return this laptop this uh, tablet and then probably just use my X61T because my X X61T is working perfectly fine it's it's a little bit slow on the CPU side when I'm like um, opening up programs or crunching um, like compiling stuff or but um, doesn't really have much problems with using OneNote uh, works fine so yeah so I, I don't really like uh, this X220 tablet although the CPU and everything else is also very fast um, by the way I, I tested these using X25M it's a um, Intel SSD so they boot up pretty quickly and the drivers for both of them are all up to date as of um, June 30th which is today so um, I hope Lenovo can fix the issue with this um, digitizer problem and uh, I I don't know if it's a software or hardware problem I'm I'm thinking it's a hardware problem a lot of people say it's a software problem maybe it can be fixed or um, using using a more complex uh, screen calibration but yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it can't be fixed just using a software and I'm a computer electrical electrical computer engineer so um, I yeah I don't know really much about this how this touch device works but yeah that's just my guess so um, alright thank you for watching